In today's video I want to go into what intentional living is, just a short explanation and then also five tips to bring more intention into your daily life. Hi lovely people, welcome to today's video. If I'm talking kind of soft in this video it is because my boyfriend is still asleep in the next room and I do not want to wake him up. Anyway, today's video is all about intentional living which is what this channel is about. However, I noticed that there is not a single video on my channel that actually explains the concept to you. So that's what we're doing today. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So intentional living is both a lifestyle and a mindset. The two perfectly marrying together into intentional living. It is all about consciously making decisions to align with your priorities and your values in life and acting on those and basically creating the life that you want to live. It is all about making conscious choices and decisions to align with your values and your priorities so that you can basically create the life you want to live. So it's going to be a very personal concept to each and every one of you. It's going to look slightly different for everyone and that is part of the charm of it, if you ask me. So intentional living is all about being aware of how you spend your time, your resources and your energy and striving to spend those in a way that is fulfilling to you. Intentional living um, often but not always can also include simplifying your life, getting rid of clutter and distractions in your life, both mental and physical, tangible things. And this is something that's going to help you to really focus on the things that really matter to you. So just getting rid of the distractions, getting rid of things that don't matter as much to you, um, where you don't necessarily want to spend your time, in order to free up more time to spend it where you want it to spend. And if you ask me, it is very much also about being present in the moment, enjoying the journey rather than always focusing on the end result. So now that you know what intentional living is, let's get into a five tips to help you live a life with more intention. So the first and foremost thing is getting your priorities straight. What are your priorities? What is important for you in life? And if you know what your priorities are, is that where you are actually spending your time and your resources? Or are you currently spending it somewhere else entirely? And do you maybe steer that towards the right way for you? Even if you have your priorities straight and you've noticed that you're definitely not where you'd like to be, that's perfectly fine. Just start to make small changes and just make the changes that feel right for you right now. You don't have to completely turn your life around and go the complete opposite way right away. Take your time, baby steps. It is okay to start small. And then tip number two is taking a look at the items that you are surrounding yourself with. I think this might have been where it started for me the entire journey, looking at the things I was surrounding myself with um, and noticing that a lot of those things actually caused a lot of stress for me. So looking at those items, are these items that you want to spend the time and maybe the money to take care of them? Do you want to spend time to take care of these items? Is it something that's adding value to your life? So try to be intentional with the items that you bring into your home. So taking a look at the items that you bring into your home, but also take a look at the items that are already there. Is there something that maybe isn't really fulfilling a purpose in your life? Um, and I mean, something that's just pretty, that just makes you happy, that's also a perfectly fine purpose for an item. But if it's something that doesn't bring you any joy and that's not actually useful or important for you to keep, maybe it's time to say goodbye to those items and free up the space, both in your home as well as mentally. Because any item that you surround yourself with, you can kind of see that as a thing on your to-do list, taking up mental space as well, not just in your house. And then of course when adding a new item, when you're going to buy something, ask yourself if this is going to add value to your life. Is it going to add value in 
any way, shape or form. This can be just because you really like the item, because it's lovely and you love looking at it, you love holding it, feeling it, touching it, whatever. Or it can be because it's super practical for your lifestyle. But if it's something that doesn't necessarily add a lot of value to your life, maybe rethink that purchase. Um, something that helps me is to just put something on a wish list, wait for at least a week, often actually it's a month or even longer. I've waited up to multiple years before buying an item, um, that might be a little bit extreme for you. But put it on a wish list, wish list and see if it's something that you still think adds value when you've had a little bit of time away from the item. Then the next tip is to practice being present in the moment. This is so important. This is something that most people don't do nearly enough. So just enjoying your cup of tea um, or coffee or whatever your drink of choice is. Taking the time to feel the mug in your hands, to feel, to smell your drink, to taste it, just to enjoy it, to enjoy a little moment. Making little moments more special, more enjoyable. Focusing on your thoughts or on your breath without any judgment. And this is something that's going to help you to become more aware of your thoughts and of your behavior. And this in turn will help you make more intentional choices going forward. It all starts with being aware of those patterns and of those thoughts, of those behaviors, before you can actually take action on them. You've probably heard this one before, an attitude of gratitude. Yes, I said it. Gratitude is so important, it is going to help you live a much more intentional and also just enjoyable life. Yes, it's definitely easier said than done, I know that. But focusing on the things that you are grateful for in your life right now, right in this moment, is gonna go such a long way into bringing more intention into your life. Try to focus on things that you already enjoy and just see how you can bring more of that into your daily life. Focusing on the things that you are grateful for also helps you to focus on the things that are positive, on the things that are good in your life right now, instead of always looking for the next best thing, which doesn't always help with a more intentional life, in my personal opinion. I think living intentionally is also about what is good in your life right now and enjoying that. And then my last tip for today for you is using routines and more specifically using routines to bring what's important to you into your life on a more regular basis. This is something that at least to me is so incredibly helpful, so incredibly important. And basically this is all about the power of baby steps. So if you know what you want to prioritize, you can start building these things into your daily routines. And this way you can make sure that you spend a little bit of time every single day on the things that really matter to you. And that way, intentionally bringing more of that into your life and being able to enjoy that. So you can make routines in a lot of different ways for a lot of different things. Um, for me, an example is I want to make the time to do my meditation every single day. So when I get up, I will take at least five minutes to just sit with myself and meditate. I also take the time to write in my five-year diary for a little bit. And while I do that, I always have a nice cup of tea with me. So there's three things that are important to me that I can bring into my daily routine within just 10 to 5 minutes a day. So it doesn't have to take too long. So even if it's just 5 minutes, even if it's just a minute, make sure you take the time for yourself to do the thing that you really enjoy that's important to you so you can live your life with more intention that way. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, which would really, truly help me out. I wish you a lovely, intentional rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.